Hey guys, today we're gonna to be playing Way of the Hunter in Early Access. Thank you, THQ Nordic. Okay guys, this is my very first time loading Way of the Hunter. This is very exciting. It really does look beautiful. I'm very excited. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Who's excited? Oh. That looks amazing. Hey, baby. Elliot Little speaking. Hey, Grandpa. I'm getting closer to the lodge. Your phone magically erased all the contacts again? River. Nurse Ellen was helping me with it, but she said she doesn't know how these old-fashioned phones work. I'll help you with it when you return. Oh, I'm so grateful you decided to help me with the Bear Den Ranch. Competition is growing every day. Ethically hunted meat with government inspection? Sounds like a pretty niche market. Uh, you'd be surprised. But the demand is rising every day. And with the hoax about the disease spreading... Uh, what? I, I can't hear you. River, can you hear me better now? Yep, way better. The service in the valley is really bad, so I'll make it quick. I've sent you a package a day ago, but I'm not sure when it will arrive. Just make yourself at home and... Maybe greet your old friend Echo. You know, it's been a while. Oh god, I forgot about her. How long has it been? Ten years. I hope you didn't forget the key. Oh god, I did. What should I do? <laughs> Don't worry. The spare is in the usual spot. <laughs> Alright, I'm here. I'll call you later. And be nice to the nurses. But tell them to be nice to me. I'm always a gentleman. <laughs> and kiddo, or I guess I should start calling you River now. Welcome to the Ness Purse Valley. Okay guys, we're gonna have a look at Way of the Hunter and exactly how this brand new hunting game works. Now I am learning at the same time as you guys, but I was sent some instructions and we're gonna go through them together and learn this game together. So there is actually different difficulty levels you can choose when playing. If you are not a hunting game specialist, start the game on the default Explorer difficulty. It is the least difficult one, but still not easy. Difficulty can be chosen in the territory selection screen. You can travel to Transylvania right after the tutorial missions. Once you have some experience with animal behavior, anatomy, and some better gear, like a higher magnification scope, and you feel not challenged enough, try the more realistic difficulty settings. So we are gonna start on the Explorer difficulty because I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's do that. And as we get used to the game, we can try the harder difficulty. The car is very useful to cover large distances, but it will spook most animals away before you can see them. Even on foot, you are very loud when you run. Most animals will be spooked before you even know they were there. It takes a little more patience, but walking and listening to your surroundings will usually be the quickest way to successfully spotting them, and you will also discover tracks and animal signs much easier. Using your binoculars often is also very helpful. Okay, story objective, objective area, and next story objective. Find the spare key in the mailbox. Okay, we have the mailbox here. <laughs> Thank God we have a trustworthy mailman. Enter the lodge from the porch. So it tells you what to do next. In we go. It's been a long time since I was here. 
Put grandpa's old rifle from the firearm safe and attach a scope to it. All right, we can do that. Welcome to your new home, the Bear Den Ranch. Here you can buy new items and equip them. When you are on the road and need something, just open the trunk of your car. But it gives the exclamation mark of where you need to go, so this is fairly easy. So basically this is the storage locker. We have grandpa's old rifle. It's a lever action, six magazine capacity, 30-30 win, hunting tier four. All right, so I'd imagine we don't have very much gear being brand new. All right, so we want to equip that. Okay, so I just pressed equip and we have now equipped grandpa's old rifle. So we now have a rifle, delightful. Oh, look, we're in the store now, look at this. So it looks like I have $150. So we have a 243, a seven mil, so seven mil eight. I think they're just different variations. A 223 win, 308, 300. Ooh, you know I love the 300. We have a 22, a 338. This is what we have, the 30-30 win, 22. And then we have shotguns, 16 gauge, 12 gauge, and a 20 gauge. There you have it, that's a lot of weapons. All right, so this one, I guess we're gonna have to earn some cash and purchase some weapons. So we are probably stuck right now with the starter rifle. So that's very similar to Call of the Wild and there are need zones. And there's our car. And here's gear in here. All right, so here's the binoculars. There are better ones we're gonna need to unlock. The Bushnell Prime 10 by 42. Here are the collars. So we have an elk collar. It has two different sounds, one to attract the bugle to attract low fitness whales and the bugle with chuckle to attract high fitness males. Then we have a roe deer collar. Calf squeal attracts does. Does in estrus squeal attracts low fitness males and buck mating squeal attracts high fitness males. We're gonna have to do some memory work here. We also have the deer grunt collar. Doe grunt attracts females. Young buck grunt attracts low fitness males and trophy buck grunt attracts high fitness males. Then we have a red deer collar. Bulving no chuckle attracts low fitness males and bulving with chuckle at the end attracts high fitness males. Hog collar, three different calls for that. That. Duck collar, just one. We have a goose collar, a jackrabbit predator collar, and we do have a moose collar with three different calls for that. So that looks pretty insane. Attachments. So here is the red dot. We're gonna have a lot to unlock. Carbine optic. Then we have different scopes. We have the Leopold VX Freedom 27 by 33. Then we have the Leopold VX 6HD 318 by 44. The Leopold VX Freedom 1.5 4 by 20. Man, there are a lot of scopes. Holy moly. Overguard long range 315 by 50 and the Leopold VX 3HD 4.5 by 14 by 40. So those are our scopes. All right, well, this is something that is not in Call of the Wild. We have passes, private passes. River Knox. All right, well, that is interesting. And then there are ones for Transylvania. All right, we're gonna have to figure out how that works. All right, so let's collapse that. I guess we're gonna have to make some cash. So we're just gonna have the one rifle, the one binoculars for now. And I don't think we can put any collars until we actually make some cash. So you can sleep here in the bed. Equip grandpa's old rifle from the firearm safe and attach a scope to it. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, here's a scope. Okay, so to attach your scope, guys, right in here in storage, press this button here. The only scope that's available to us right now is the Leopold VX Freedom 27 by 33 So we're gonna equip that. There we go. We now have a scope. Yay! Awesome. All right. Mission accomplished. Now we have to reach the Northwest balcony on the second floor. I don't even know how to run. Oh, we are running, all right. Look at this place. It looks pretty insane, loving it so far. You're just following that exclamation mark. Binoculars are the hunter's best friend. First, cycle through your gear with the mouse to select the binoculars. To use them, press the right button on the mouse. Some optics can be zoomed in or zoomed out with scrolling. Okay, so I'm looking for highlighted checkpoints. There's one there. All right, I've done two out of three. See you soon, Echo. There we go. Inspect the map in the office to refresh your memory of the surroundings. So you can actually change what, oh, look at that. You can change what animals are on the stands here. Escape. So these are stands that we need to fill, it looks like. Inspect the map in the office. Can you tell I don't do a lot of missions in Call of the Wild? <laughs> okay, we got the map. You've discovered Nespers Valley grassland habitat. Open country for beginners and seasoned veterans alike. The meadows serve as prime feeding areas for both pheasants and badgers. 
Undisturbed grasslands with tall grass have the potential to hold a lot of small, but also some bigger game. So now we need to enter the car. To enter or leave the vehicle, press E. To accelerate, press W. To steer, press A or D. To use the handbrake, press spacebar. The camera can be changed by pressing C. We're driving. Oh my goodness, get off the road, everyone. So let's exit the vehicle, E, out we get, reach the ladder and climb up. All right, so you can toggle onto the map here, guys, and it will show you where you are and where you need to be, basically. We actually have a weather report here. Oh, and it looks like I made a little bit of cash. Look, guys, there's animals here. <laughs> Me hitting one could be a different story, but there they are. So we don't have the greatest of binoculars. I'm gonna imagine they're about 300 meters away. All right, we found it. So basically you just have to follow the exclamation mark and that'll lead you to where you wanna be. So objective, continue up the hills on foot, reach the ladder and climb up. All right, how do I do that? Oh, just climb up, all right. Here you are. Greet your old friend, Echo. Aho! Long How time beautiful no see, is that? My friend. Mission completed! Yay! Visit the hunting range to hone your shooting skills. That sounds like a great idea. I may die here. <clears throat> I hurt myself falling from higher places and crashing the car aren't the only ways that can hurt you. Okay, I think we're at the shooting range. Yes, we are. To zero at a longer distance, press up, and to zero at a shorter distance, press down while zooming in a scope. To stabilize your sway while zoomed, press and hold. What is that, shift? Most scopes can be zoomed in or zoomed out with your mouse going up and down. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, we get to do some target practice now. I have never shot this rifle. All right, 50 meters, we're zeroed to a hundred. Okay, so I'm scrolling in and out on my mouse. That is my zoom. Zeroing. All right, so I'm pressing down. There's 50 meters. Hold your breath. Okay, shift is hold your breath. So here we go. Ah, vitals hit. That vitals hit. Beautiful. All right. Says to zero to 150. So I'm going to press up. We're at 150. Animal damage system, injury and bleeding, ethical shooting. To deliver the best shot, learn the anatomical position of the vital organs for each of the animal species you hunt. All right, so here is a 150 meter shot. Am I supposed to crouch? I don't know how to crouch, to be very honest. Okay, gonna be a little more difficult at 150 meters. Here we go. Never wants to keep his shooting skills sharp, but 200 meters, way too far for a safe deer shot. So they're saying 200 meters is too far for a safe deer shot. So 150 meters is basically what we want to get up to. Hit a deer target vitals at the 200 mark. All right. So I'm going to imagine we're going to have some drop because I can only zero to 150 meters. So why don't we aim? Oh, looks like there's a note over there. Mission completed. Yes. All right, we have a new mission added. Check the forgotten note. So these missions are awesome for learning the game. That's for sure. Hey Wallace, don't forget to take care of the badgers wreaking havoc behind the lodge. Sincerely, myself, you forgetful geezer. <laughs> Enter the hunting stand near Badger Calamity. So the space bar is jump. So many burrows. That's unusual. Badgers are definitely overpopulated in this area. Shoot a badger. All right, we get to shoot something. I'm excited. All right. Okay, guys, there's a badger right there. So, 50 meters. We're zero to 50. Here we go. First animal kill. And splat! He dead. Beautiful! An animal leaves a blood trail after every shot. To examine the blood trail, interact with the blood splatter. Find the badger, claim it, and harvest it. Harvesting means you can either sell or taxidermy the game. We absolutely dropped them. Claim the animal. 
And there is our shot. So that's the bullet camera. It's showing us the trajectory of the shot there. And it was a pretty nice shot. So we got flesh and lungs. Penetration damage 552, cavity damage 598. Shot distance was 46.8 meters. The wind, the caliber, and the firearm. American Badger, so all the animal info is there. Male adult, 8.95 kilograms. I'm not sure what that is there. Vital organ or artery, the time that it was shot, 1333. The weather and where it was shot, so that's good. Five stars, adventurer, trophy rating two. And it's gonna give us $43 for that, all right. We don't need to taxi that, I don't think. We will sell it, because we need to buy stuff. So I'm gonna press C. And that unlocks the encyclopedia for the badger. Fitness gene pool. Each animal has a fitness value which affects the animal's trophy and size of the animal. Pay close attention to it because you can change the average fitness of a habitat by hunting low trophy score males and vice versa. So analyze the blood there. Pink, lots of blood, air bubbles, that's impurities. Time to expire is instant, distance before expiration, zero to 50 meters. All right, so I think we have to harvest another badger. All right, I'm gonna go back up into the stand. That seemed to work the first time. Okay guys, so I just toggled on my hunter sense and it's actually showing me where there is a badger. So that is pretty awesome. You wanna be using that hunter sense for sure. Oh, that's much better. Definitely crouch and crouch is the control key. And splat, we got him. Let's have a look at this baby. Beautiful shot, flesh and lungs. 55.8 meters, and there is the bullet cam. Has hit energy, current energy, $27. All right, we'll sell that. Which one has a white butt? Okay, now we can buy the Remington 783 bolt action rifle, which is more suitable for a deer hunt. Yes. So to buy a new rifle, open the store on the computer. Jeez, I didn't see that fast enough. All right, so I just follow the exclamation mark and it gets me where I need to be. All right, we're gonna go to the computer. We're gonna shop and we have enough. So we're gonna buy that. So hold that. Purchased, beautiful. Equip the new rifle and attach a scope to it. All right, so you go in here to storage, go down here to Remington and equip. There we go. Throw a scope on there, equip, we're good to go. All right, so they're saying this weapon you should not use at a distance more than 100 meters. Always try to aim for the vital organs to kill as quick and painlessly as possible. The hunting tier of a firearm will help you decide if it's a deal. Man, they need to leave that on longer, come on! I'm <laughs> not that fast. All right, reach the upper grassland area. So this is pretty easy to navigate. Just basically follow the exclamation mark and uh, it's not too hard to figure out. If I can figure it out, anyone can figure it out. When you are tracking any animal, don't run. It's the easiest way to spook the animal. Try to move silently, don't use the car, and hide in tall grass to be less visible. If you spook all animals inside the objective area, try looking for more animals somewhere else or come back another day. Okay, I need to harvest a mule deer or a white-tailed deer. Oh my goodness. I'm creeping, so I press control. And I'm very slowly making my way through here so I don't spook anything. So this is definitely a slower paced game. I think this game is gonna compete with Classic a lot more than Call of the Wild. It's not a really a run and gun type game. It's more a hunting simulator for sure. Looked good. Now guys, I think when you're looking through your binoculars, you can press X and that will actually put a waypoint down on the other side, which would have really helped me to find my kill but I didn't realize, but good to know going forward. I got a good shot, look at that, lungs, flesh and lungs, $532, that pays a lot better than a badger, that is for sure, so we got a muley. All right, we're gonna sell that. You've learned the basics of hunting now, all shop items, multiplayer mode, and available territories are accessible. So I think that's a great spot for us to stop our playthrough. That is as far as we got. So far, I really like this game. I think they've done an amazing job. It is not a fast paced game. It is a slower paced hunting game. It definitely is a simulator. I don't think it's gonna compete with Call of the Wild. If anything, it will compete with the Hunter Classic. But so far, pretty awesome game. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of it so far. And 
Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. We'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.